And before we crack into race number 10, we can bring up a scratching for you because Seaweed Fortune has come out. Bulletproof goes in. So race 10, number 14, Bulletproof Ruin Meyer takes the ride. The last is over the 1600. It is a class three alacrity. He has won over 1600 at Chile prior to arriving. He's had his first start over the 1400. Beauty Inspire. Disappointed last time, but uh, race keenly in the early stages. The best peach cheek pieces off. Massive action's probably going to go forward. Having the Gila's coming back in trip, but he was in that void race at Happy Valley last time. Invincible Missile is up in trip. Total Power gets a five-pound claim for Alfie Chan. Jing makes his Class 3 debut, and Happy Day draws Barrier 7, but he does like to get back and run on Tom Sell. So he'll be hoping there's plenty of pace on, which might not be the case. Yeah, it could be good to slow here. Massive action going forward. He uh, rated him well when he won two starts uh, ago. Having a Gila might be a little bit more prominent from Barry number three. A uh, packing hurricane. Uh, he's drawn barrier 12, so he'll have to uh, come across from there. And then you've got uh, Ching and Alacrity. Uh, Paul, he was um, at the rear on the fence. They're sort of quite negative with him, and I feel they probably have to be again here with barrier 13. Yeah, he's drawn wide. He's up 200 metres as well, so he's got that extra bit. But look, most of these horses go back. Massive action's the only, only sort of one that does like to go forward. So behind him, it, the places are up for grabs. He's in our first replay, Paul. Massive action. He's leading here but fades to run 10th. Tell us why that's not going to be the case this week. Because no one else is going to lead. He's going to be, I think he's going to be rated really well in front here. He's got uh, Derek Long who can rate these horses uh, from barrier number five. Uh, I think he can just keep going. Um, he's won over two starts ago. He won really nicely when, again, nothing sort of took him on. And uh, I think he can win again. OK, and uh, look, he was hit at the last 175 and he did stop quickly uh, here uh, last uh, time out. Powerful wings uh, going around in this uh, same race and he was only just uh, beaten there. Maybe there's opportunity for Packing Hurricane to uh, take them on with the lack of pace in the race. Yeah, and sounded as convinced as Paul over massive action here. We'll see the result at 5.45 tomorrow. Oh, I love a bit of... A bit of fierceness on the panel between the two of them. <laughs> Prince Alex Time, he's a horse that's getting better and better. He's been running on and the time uh, three starts ago finished on the track, he raced wide. Yeah, he's been improving uh, with each and every start test. Uh, Prince Alex, it was definitely an improvement uh, again and he loomed up uh, sort of uh, between runners at about the 200 uh, metres and kept on. Bulletproof gets into the race here with Seaweed Fortune coming out but uh, he wasn't able to back up uh, his win and uh, a couple of the other two uh, Paul, were Beauty and Spy, they rode him forward last time and I don't think that suited. No, it didn't. And so I'm going to give him another chance. Prince Alex drew one at every chance. I thought he's 11 this time, so he's going to make find that harder. OK, so uh, we move on from those two now. King's Capital, he ends up running third here, Paul. He's a, he's a strange horse, King's Capital. He runs over all sorts of distances. Alacrity won't mind the step up in trip if the debut's anything to go by. Yeah, def definitely with Alacrity. Now, he's, by looking at Lucky, now with Panfield's by the same side, and we know Panfield is a real out-and-out -out stayer here in Hong Kong. So maybe 1600 again is going to be a bit short for him, but he ran on really nicely, and I thought... Uh, he could run on well again, so he goes in. Yeah, looking to uh, boost his rating for the uh, Derby, are they, with uh, Alacrity was a, a really good run from him, but I feel they have to go back again from that mm. uh, sort of uh, draw. Uh, King's Capital might not be the, the worst for multiples from Barrier 1. He's always good value too, King's Capital. He's each way price again, early betting, and here's Ching, Tom, unlucky again. It's uh, what's next to his name, pretty much every start, uh, unlucky uh, for Rich Ching, and uh, he was beyond midfield, got wide at the, the 600 metres, and then even though he was wide, he was still held up, uh, Paul, but uh, when he got clear, he, he launched late. Yeah, which he normally does. We've seen that so many times, haven't we, with him. Look, if there's trouble, he'll find it. There's no, there's no worries with that. He's, he sort of found it every start, and then he, he gets here every time because he finishes off nicely, but look, I'm going to leave him out in this race. Oh, you've become a non-believer. <laughs> 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 all right, you're going to go for massive action, though. <laughs> yeah, I think he can lead all the way, massive action, as he did two starts ago. So he's on top, Alacrity. Look, I don't know if he's going to get the pace to suit, but there's ob they obviously think a bit of him if they want to get him into the derby. Beauty and Spine. Look, I thought having Aguila will run a better race. He should get a nice run from Barrier 3, just in behind. 4-1-2-5. I'll go with the Ching here off that last start effort. Closed off well when clear. Beauty Inspire, hopefully they may not ride him forward this time round because I don't think that was totally ideal for him last start. He, he closed off really well when he was ridden more cold. Uh, Alacrity goes in and uh, agree on having a Gila who uh, closed off well behind escape route last time out but did want to uh, lay in over the final stages. So 12, 2, 1 and 5. So the Harry Belafonte fans happy with having a Gila going in the selections for both the boys. That has been the look at race number 10. We'll see you for the first on Sunday at one o'clock. Harry who? <laughs>